Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I am Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Prime in the Pump Edition. That's right. Okay. So, not long ago we took a trip up to North Georgia. Indeed we did. I mean, we kind of live in North Georgia, but it was even further north, North Georgia. North Earth, Georgia. North Earth. The North Earth. So, uh, but there was a distillery up there called Moonrise. That's right. And we had an amazing uh, experience there. We really did. And it's the first time we visited this one, so it was... We went in there with no preconceived notions. Ah, uh, let me mic up. All right. So, so yeah, we had no pre pre preconceived notions on this, um, and we were met. Um, we were greeted by a um, retired couple that sort yeah. of volunteers to, you know, lead people through uh, 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 tastings. Yeah, and that I think was half the fun. Honestly, was just the personalities. It was really cool, and. It, I mean, tasting whiskey didn't suck either, for yeah. that matter. Yeah, they were really charming and had great stories, and uh, you could tell that they're a little practiced at it, and uh, and they really gave us a great experience. We got to try a lot of stuff. Well, what's cool is they're whiskey lovers too, so you can kind of sit there and BS a little bit and do a deep dive into what goes into some of these uh, whiskeys that we're about to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. They they weren't impressed that we were. <laughs> podcasters about this anyway yeah <laughs> they're like yeah we'll serve you anyway exactly <laughs> so anyhow we've got two of them we're going to be going over this one's the first in this series uh, so check out the next video when it comes out for sure now this is their single barrel select and I think they're all single barrel I think so and uh, uh, so they're uh, so they could you know they could vary you know from barrel to barrel and everything but uh this one was uh fabulous it was a 60 proof um whiskey mm -hmm. and um our, our 60 yes, yes uh 60 percent abv that's we're, the one we're kind of used to dealing with the scotch and uh, irish side of things exactly so yeah yeah so um and uh and this was really really a charming whiskey agreed now I think we tried it earlier, but we didn't have a frame of reference for it. Yep. And we learned a bit while we were there. Now they really have a tight control on all the grains that are used. Um, and they're very specific about the taste and the flavor that they're looking for. Um, so it's, it's really interesting to go back to this one, having visited with them. Yeah. I'm really excited. To, I'm really excited to jump back into this one. Yeah. Now, of course, one of the things you run into with any tastings that you typically encounter is they're going to give you little small, uh, glasses, not something like a Glen Cairn. So you really don't get a, a really good feel for the whiskey. You get a general idea of it. So that's where I think this is going to be most interesting for us. Yeah. Agreed. Well, let's get into it. Sounds good to me. All right. Awesome sauce. Yeah, so if you find yourself in the vicinity of Dillard, Georgia, uh, you can find Moonrise Distillery. Really nice place. They've got quite a nice little um, space there for events and such. And again, it's just nice to hang out and BS with people as well. All right, so really nice dark amber on that one. Yeah, good oils on it. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's uh, that, yeah that. Uh it's kind of thick in the glass. Yeah. I mean, it clings. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Oil in sheets. Very nice. Mm. Yeah. Now we haven't we haven't actually done a little whiskey um, show in a, in a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of interesting that we've taken a little bit of time off. Yeah. And we're kind of coming back into this. Reset the palates. Reset a little. the palates a little bit. I'm really picking up some interesting stuff in here. Yeah. All right. So, um, mm. uh, yeah, you definitely get the oak influence in this. Um, yeah, it's got a nice oakiness. It's got a, a little. Bit, it was a little bit of ethanol. I know, agree. At first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I will say this, and this is the first time I've ever felt the urge to say this. It, it comes across as thick on the nose. It's not right. one of those wimpy kind of whiskeys that you just catch a whiff of it. No, this is very, very present. Yes. This will punch you right in the nostril. Yeah, lots of flavor on the nose. Now, I, now the you know now that I've let it breathe a minute, mm. you know I'm starting to get the uh, the caramel coming through, a little bit of a buttercream. I'm getting the oak. I'm getting a little bit of char on this one. Yes, yeah. not punching you in the face with it, but it's definitely there. Oh, you know what it reminds me of is like toasted marshmallow. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yep. 
Not like a burned one, but like a, just a gently toasted one. Because yeah. it's got that sweetness to it. Agreed. Yeah, this one comes across like it's going to be a pretty good balance in the glass when it comes to both the the barrel char as well as the sweet side of things. All right. Well, it's a... Uh, Sounds right. good. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that is peppery. Yeah, it's got one heck of a bite on the tongue. Mm. Mm, I know. Waterworks. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Yep, definitely the waterworks. It certainly oh, brought man. all that out. Um, so just, it is, it was just pepper. Yeah. It was just like a, you know, like black pepper, but also chili pepper. Yep. And it got you everywhere. Yeah, it really did. Like I said, waterworks right off the bat. The oak, very present up front. Mm -hmm. A little bit of char, but primarily just oak, clean oak. Um, the sweetness, however, is just gorgeous on this one. Yeah, it really is. It It has got a nice brown sugar quality yeah. to it. Yeah. I wouldn't go so far as to say caramel, but I would definitely go with yeah. brown sugar on it. Yeah, I'm not getting caramel on this, but I'm definitely getting brown sugar. And I know with some of the other ones that we've had, that sometimes you get kind of a lemony nature, and I'm not getting that yet. Um, sometimes you get that on the finish, and I'm not finding that on this one. Wow, that is impressive. Yeah, and it's got a really interesting finish. It kind of goes off. Um, it's a it's a little oaky on the on the back end, and I'm I'm picking up something, but I I can't place my finger mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, for the for me the finish is, hmm, it's almost reminiscent of. Uh, Oh, what is that? From Tennessee. The charcoal filter. I almost get like a little charcoal at the, on the finish on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, like a, like a Jack Daniels kind of? Kind of. Yeah, a little bit. I am getting, I am, that cherry's starting to come through. Mm. It kind of came through on the back end. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's got a little bit of fruitiness to it, mm -hmm. uh, but not, you know, like a dark fruit, not a, you know, not like a little citrus or anything. For me, mid palate's where it's at. Now, I will say mouthfeel, really nice oils on this. Coats the palate very nicely. Not thin in the glass. <clears throat> glass, excuse me. Vapors. Um, barrel is very present, but balanced out nicely with the sweetness. Nice, well-rounded, corn-forward mash bill, really. Absolutely. And it just, the waterworks just keep oh, coming. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and the vapors. And the vapors, yeah. Oh, yeah, ever-present. Yeah. This a... is one where you may want to let it air out a little bit. Mm. Uh, this could certainly hold up to some ice, a little bit of water. Um, but neat, it's a very nice pour. Yeah, yeah, 60% 60 60 ABV on this one. Yeah. And, yeah, it's got all of them there. Oh, yeah, they're all present. They're all present, for. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we thinking on our scale? Um, I'm going to go three and a half. Uh, it's it's funny you say that. It's exactly where I was going to go. Yep. Um, um, yeah, catch me on a different day. Catch me after I've uh, you know had a couple of other whiskeys and everything to try it mm. up against. But we we, we kind of came into this cold, and it's been yeah. it's been a few weeks since we shot a show. Well, and there's there's another one coming, and I think I have very high expectations of that, which may temper my feelings about this one a little bit, perhaps. Yeah. But we'll see. We uh, I may have to revisit the score on this one. Yeah, and I think we rated it pretty high while we were in there, but you know, part of that might have been the experience. Oh, too. absolutely! No, yeah. that's certainly a thing. Definitely, awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had a good time. We sure did, and we'll catch you later. All right, catch you later. Bye. See ya. Damn, that one. Uh, that hits. Yeah, it really. <laughs>